what's made Phone Joy's uh, play console such a challenge uh, for me personally is the fact that uh, the conventional layout is pretty simple. You have, again, buttons on the top, analogs and whatnot, and circuitry on the backside. And this is a very conventional way to do things. You actually have a lot of what we call real estate for circuit board components. Uh, because we're actually separated into two pieces, as you can see here on the screen, uh, the boards are very populated with uh, components. I'm actually only showing the, the major components on the one side right now, where you have the left side, right? The PIC processor manages a lot of different processes. It has to do everything from manage the four analog channels from the two, two sticks. You have actually four analog channels between the two sticks, 14 digital buttons, we have five LEDs, and we have uh, two Bluetooth modules. So, it, and the charging circuitry and some other discrete things as well. It has to manage all of that. So that's why we have this structure that you can see. Unlike conventional uh, products that have just one circuit board, ours is actually divided into two circuit boards like this and they can be expanded and opened apart like that. Uh, although there's two pieces, we have to electrically connect them together and we do that with what we call a flexible uh, printed circuit board. Um, this is actually a circuit board. Instead of a phenolic material, which means fibrous or fiberglass, uh, we're using a flexible substrate. And the flexible substrate allows the circuit board to be completely flexible. And how we use this inside of our device is through an elaborate pulley system that allows the, the circuit to expand and contrast, basically like this, okay? In one of our prototypes here, if I fully open the enclosure, you can see the flexible cable inside. This is actually a prototype that we're using in the office. And you can see the flexible cable is hidden inside of the mechanical uh, structure. All of the flexible cable is actually stored inside of this uh, center uh, slider unit. Uh, there's an elaborate pulley system that uh, basically retracts the cable when you fully close it and allows the cable to fully expand when you have it fully open in such a situation. Inside of PhoneJoy Play, there, the left side is actually the side that hosts the microcontroller. This microcontroller is again the management of all of PhoneJoy. Um, as you can see, this is a very large schematic. We have a lot of different components here that are all a part of just the left side, which is, as you can see, a very small piece of real estate to be able to host all of these items. Uh, some of the things that you see here are our two Bluetooth modules. Uh, you have the 4.0 and the 2.1 Bluetooth module. We have some circuitry here that allows us to use both of them. Uh, we have some battery fuel gauge, basically battery level status uh, circuitry. Um, we have the MCU right here. We have all of the inputs, right? So we have our digital inputs and we have our analog inputs. We have some LED indication. We have a full color LED on the face of PhoneJoy. And then we have the interconnect. This is the interconnect that allows us to connect to the right side controller. And then we have an interconnect that allows us to connect to the, the top buttons here. Basically, this is what the left side, with the schematic I just showed you, this is the left side circuit board with all of the layers turned on. Our competitors usually use a two-layer circuit board, which is a very inexpensive circuit board, but because of the complexness of our me uh, mechanical structure with the sliding mechanism that holds the phone, our circuit boards actually have a lot less real estate. And with that low real estate, we have to make all the components be more compressed. As you can see, it, it gets really, really messy. The six layers allow us to have many different levels of, uh, of traffic. Uh, so we may put traces one direction on one layer of traffic, traces another layer of traffic uh, on another layer. And what that allows us to do is uh, compress the size down to the point where you have very complex things put on very, very small circuit boards.